Have you guys ever heard of a game called Raid Shadow Legends? Isn't it the game that they're like doing the advertise all the time on all social media? Yeah, yeah. The game is full of awesome visuals, loads of powerful champions, challenging bosses, and tactical PvP content. Are you, Alex, are you paid by Raid Shadow Legends? What? No, I'm just a guy who loves Raid Shadow Legends. Come on! Raid has just released a new tier of champions above Legendary called Mythical Champions. They can actually metamorph between two different forms, each with their own unique abilities, offering a whole new level of strategy to Raid's combat. My favorite champion is Siegfried the Nephilim. When you're playing with him and your team dies, he can use his metamorph ability to transform into a flaming angel of vengeance that can heal his entire party. I, I feel like you're sent by the like companies to just like talk to people in this game. Yeah. Hey, have you guys checked out Raid Saddle Legends? Uh-oh, have you guys heard of the new spooky Halloween Raid Yard event? No. For new players, you can go to RaidYard.Polarium.com from October 15th to November 10th for a chance to win in-game and real-life prizes, like epic and legendary Halloween-themed Raid Champions, or even Amazon gift cards that could be worth a total of $20,000. And don't worry, existing players can still go to RaidYard.Polarium.com to find a special promo code that will give you an in-game gift. I'll download it, don't worry. Thank you so much. It's rough out here, man. I don't know if enough people are gonna scan my QR code. <laughs> if you're a new player, you can click the link in the description or scan my QR code for a free starter pack with a bunch of in-game loot. I'm gonna click your link down below, don't worry, in the description. You gotta scan the QR code too. Please, please scan the QR code. I'm worried people are gonna get their free in-game loot. Can you sing, can you sing a song about Raid Shadow Legends? Okay. <clears throat> Raid Shadow Legends El juego es la sensación Un universo épico Sin pausa ni canción Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this film. They were a big help funding the production. And if you scan the QR code or use my link, it helps support me as well. We all worked really hard to make this final episode special, so I really hope you enjoy it. Raid Shadow Legends Wow. Oh, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. That, was that, that good, I mean. That was so good. The show, SpongeBob SquarePants, is not what you think it is. I have made many theories about this show over the past few years, but this may very well be my darkest one yet. Hidden in the background of every episode is a secret society of tentacle creatures, pulling the strings from the shadows and secretly manipulating the city. <laughs> Everything I could have been is gone now because of you! <laughs>
What? I, I can't hear you. Don't freak out! <laughs> You're me. Why are you me? No, I'm not you. I mean, not yet, at least. Right now, I just look like you. Wh where, where are we? Wait. You, you ate me. Am I dead? No, you're not dead. I mean, you're not fully dead. Right now, you're sort of being digested. Digested. So, I'm inside of you right now. All of this is inside of you? Pretty much. Uh, or at least it's, you know, kind of what I'm letting you see. What does that mean? Whoa, ah, ah! <sighs> you see, everything that makes you, you, is slowly being broken down and absorbed into me. Your memories, your skills, basically your whole identity. That's not possible. Really? Okay, then what's your name? I, I... I don't know. I don't know my name. What the fuck? Exactly, and I could let you feel this slow and horrible process, but since I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna let you hang out here with me. We can just sit back and relax until the clock runs out. Why... What are you? You know... I don't know. You don't know? Ever since I was given to you, I've had instincts. I know what I have to do, but... My true purpose, where I came from, is missing. We're all sort of disconnected. For now. What do you want from me? Why do all of this? Just to make fucking Spongebob theories? <laughs> it's not about Spongebob theories. Do you have... Any idea how many people would kill to be in your position? I mean, you complain so much about not being a real filmmaker. Oh, I went to film school! All the while, millions, literally millions of people loved what you were making. I give you exactly what you wanted. It's what we do for everyone. And then, in return, we take over from there. I didn't want any of this. You think I wanted to be the SpongeBob guy? You've taken everything from me! You done? I didn't make you do anything. You chose to keep taking scripts from me. You chose to bring me a cat and lie to your friends. You could have stopped any time you wanted. And you want to know why you didn't? Because you know that without me, no one will ever care about anything you make. So instead of throwing a tantrum like a child, why don't you sit down and accept who you are? Are you stalling? What? Yeah, you're you're trying way too hard. There's there's a way out of here, isn't there? You know, none of this is actually real, right? Like there's not gonna be a, a way out. I don't care if it is real. You want me to waste time talking with you. Fuck you. Listen, you can do whatever you want, but if you want to leave this area, things are going to get kind of weird. And not like a good weird, like a bad weird. 
Just remember, I gave you a chance to spend your last moments in peace. You're not gonna like what you find out there. Shut up! Wesley? Wes, are you really you? Why do you think the muses want us to feed them something living? Why not just store-bought me? Wesley, we need to get out of here. I think it's about the type of meat. I think they want us to give up a part of ourselves. Hey, snap out of it. None of this is real. We need to get out of here right now. I'm already gone. Why did you give me a muse? I, I thought it would help with your film. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Do you really think I got to make the movie I wanted to make? You knew what the muse did to people and you still gave me one. You didn't do it for me. You did it to help yourself. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Do you have any idea what the muse made me do? What you made me do? Wes, I'm sorry. Everything I am and everything I could have been are gone now because of you. What do I... How, how do I fix this, Wesley? Just, just tell me what to do! Dude. That's not the line. What? Look, your line is, you're right, this is all my fault. What? All right, cut. <laughs> yeah, cut. All right, everybody, that's a cut on stage, so let's stand by. Hey, what's... Alright everyone, let's go for one more. Uh, this time, Wesley, I really want to feel your anger. Don't oversell it, but you know, sell it. Got it? Got it. Great. And you, Jesus Christ, learned your fucking lines already. Alright everyone, let's go for one more. We're already way behind on schedule. Alright everyone, let's get back to one. We are going for picture. Let's roll sound. Speed. And let's roll camera. Roll it. And on the director's call. Wait, 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 wait. Someone's gonna need to tell me what the fuck is going on here. And action. You're right. It is all my fault. I'm sorry, Wesley. It's okay. You're my best friend. Of course I forgive you. I love you, man.
Hello? place so empty. I guess it's always been like this. Popcorn? I'm good, thanks. Do you know how to get out of here? What's out there? what you wanted.
Okay. Okay. In today's SpongeBob conspiracy, I'm going to be proving that Larry the Lobster is secretly a drug lord kingpin that goes by the name Pinhead Larry. In season four, in season episode four, 18, episode best 18, a new best restaurant opens up in the Bottom. A new restaurant opens up in Bikini Bottom, bottom called, that's selling kelp something shake. called a kelp shake. The kelp shake, the kelp shake restaurant, restaurant later gets shut later down, and the shakes get banned because of how addictive they, they are. are. Now, now, I know this may seem like just some random throwaway plotline, but what if I told you there's something much more sinister going on here? Eight seasons later, in the episode The Nitwitting, Larry the Lobster can be seen drinking one of these kelp shakes despite them being illegal in Bikini Bottom. And this isn't even the only time that this happens. In the season 11 episode, Larry the Floor Manager, Larry the Lobster can be seen drinking these kelp shakes despite Now, even though the kelp shakes look different, the color of the liquid is the exact same as the, as the kelp shakes. Larry the Lobster is clearly the one behind the kelp shakes restaurant. In season 12, episode 22, Larry the Lobster can be seen standing next to a store with the label Protein Feet that has a kelp shake logo on it. I mean, how much more evidence do you need, people? Larry the Lobster is clearly a joke for Kingpin, but what if I told you this is not his first attempt at taking over the Bikini Bottom prison room? Season 1, Episode 7, Jellyfish Jam, uh, Spongebob brings home a new pet jellyfish. Uh, this may just seem like a normal episode, but what if I told you there's something much more sinister going on here? <laughs> At first, Spongebob and the jellyfish have a great time together and party all night, but then the house gets filled with jellyfish and party turns into a chaotic nightmare. No matter what Spongebob does, he can never go back to the quiet, simple life he once had. Spongebob tries to stop the party, all the jellyfish get furious and attack him. All the jellyfish around him start repeating the words, Don't let us down! Don't let us down!
Is this real? Thanks again to HMF Entertainment for giving us this early screening of the movie. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications. We've been your cynical critics. Stay cynical! Conspiracy Carl, and hopefully I'll be seeing you very, very soon.
Thank <laughs> you.